Have you ever thought about what would happen to your pet if you were to die or become divorced? My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney who practices probate and family law in San Antonio, Texas. For many people, their pet is family. They are, under the law, actually property, but we tend to think of our pets more like children. I have had a situation where, in a divorce situation, both parties wanted to keep the dog. And so it becomes an interesting combination of community property law and a custody arrangement. So in that situation, we worked out an agreement where daddy would take the dog to doggy daycare and mommy would pick up the dog from doggy daycare. And once a week, they would switch off custody of the dog. They worked out an agreement where they would split the costs of veterinary care, of the doggy daycare, and things that they knew that the dog was going to need. So we put that in the court order, actually in the final decree of divorce so that it is an enforceable court order. Many elderly people have pets that are used to constant attention from their owner, a lap dog for instance. It's really sad to think that whenever the owner passes away that that pet not only loses their constant companion but loses their home and often ends up in a shelter. And so to remedy that I have set up trusts to care for pets. Now you could just put in your will I I leave my dog to my daughter. As long as you're confident that your daughter has the means, the financial means, and the love and the skill to take care of that pet. But if you really want to make sure that that pet is well cared for, a trust set up in your will would be a good way to do that. You can't leave property to your property, but you leave the property to the trustee in order to take care of the pet. And you would need to do a budget ahead of time and kind of think about what the pet would need for food, for veterinary care, for toys, for a dog walker, all the things that normally you would spend in a year for that pet, and then estimate how long you think the pet's lifespan might be, and put that money aside, and then state what happens to the money once your pet passes away, if there is still money in the account. Uh, would that go to the trustee or to some charity, maybe the animal shelter or her something like that. So you can specify in your will or in a separate trust document the things that need to be done in order to make sure that your pet is well cared for after you're gone.